Hello guys, uh, uh, welcome to the Witness uh, Without Identity channel. This is Bob. Uh, so here today, I'm, I'm going to talk about something very quick. Uh, uh, Michael Moore, I don't know if you know him, he came out with like a, a pretty uh, an interesting movie about, he was talking about the issue of the uh, the global warming. He came out with a movie, I think it's called, uh, I'm not going to say the name, but you, you, you can look it up. Michael Moore came out with a movie about the planet. Um, uh, he's a director. He, he went on the Hill Studio to talk about it. Uh, it's a very interesting thing that he talked about. He's, he's, he's basically saying that um, he doesn't think, like he, he looks at everything around. And right now we have a pandemic, and we've been dealing with global warming and the planet for like about 25, 30 years, and nothing has happened. No, everything got worse. He's saying. So in his mind, he feels that um, there's going to be there could be another crisis that's going to be worse than the the virus and we need to start to start taking care of it seriously so you personally feel that all the stuff that you hear about companies trying to build green energies all that stuff it is cloak under the under the guise of like capitalism and making money and which is not um it's not something that we should trust it's not trustworthy to to go on that world if we're going to take care of uh, the planet and the human being on the planet we need like a uh, according to his take is that we need like a something that we need like a a focus on the well-being of mankind the need of mankind not profit because if it's profit then the company would want to it has to do to make profit and it might not be in the best interest of the human race of the earth of the planet because um when you build solar panel you build those kind of vehicles they still use like fossil fuel and they still use coal to build those cars and to build those solar panel, those wind panel. So it's like an hypocrisy, you know. It's like a, you put a, they put a mask on. Hey, uh, we are green, we are for green energy, but meanwhile they're using fossil fuel to build those vehicles. But I understand companies have to make money. It's very difficult for them because they have to pay the workers. So Michael Moore is, has a very interesting point. But as I told you, this this channel is a very interesting channel. Um, we are looking at deep inside the human consciousness and we are trying to be well, uh, as just as possible. It's called the witness without identity. So we are witnessing people on the left, people on the right that talk about very difficult issue. And we are trying to like, I'm trying to be as fair as possible. Um, Michael Moore's statement is ama it's an amazing statement. I did not look at it like that. It seems very plausible that you know a lot of those green energy companies they are they're not being real to us and it would, it's been 30 years it's going to be another 100 years nothing's getting done and then eventually a big crisis is going to hit us or our kids and they will not know how to fix it so he's saying to take it seriously now just like uh dr Fashi was telling that hey there's going to be a pandemic that's going to come and we might not be easy i think he was saying this that like uh, three years ago you know what I'm saying? We have to be ready for those kind of things. So the same way Michael Moore is telling us, hey, we need to be careful here. This could be a big crisis. And guess what? I hate crises that affects all mankind. It's very depressing. This crisis about the corona is very depressing. Everybody's locked down, you know what I'm saying? So we have to learn from our mistakes. So here's the guys that's telling us that, hey, those capitalist uh, companies are trying to take care of the green energy. They're not really doing anything. We need to take this into our hand. But this is my pushback against Michael Moore. It's like, how are you going to do that? Because he's saying that basically the human, we have like a, a, an economic, a, a, a economic system that is built on growth and more, more, more. Nothing is enough. I'm saying to Michael, is it the, he said that there are corporations that live by that, there are industries that live by that. It is true. But I like to ask Michael, I mean, what do you think? I think all those industries are there because mankind is like that. So, you know, it's going to be very difficult to change that. He's saying that we need to stay away from Wall Street. We need to stay away from those industries, which is fine. But how are you going to find a solution for a problem that is gigantic and you have no money? Wall Street is like a money generator. So I don't agree with him too much on that one. I think we need to, to, to bend Wall Street arm down to make them give us the money so that we can take care of them. And we can even make Wall Street speak a different language. 
it's not all about profit it's about human well-being and the planet well-being you know what i'm saying i think you i think uh, you can do that government can get involved and make wall street speakers different way, or all the big companies amazon um so that's where michael michael said but so i personally feel that hey like um capitalism is bad it has, has a lot of bad things in it but it's a lot of good things because people do get employed by those companies so you never want to look at the situation in a unilateral way you want to look at all the different aspects of it like um so as far as the global warming he's right about this he, he has clips on this on his video that you know the the, the ceo of that company The CEO that built a beautiful company like Chevy um, is really not looking out for the better of human humanity. He's looking for profit. Why? He heals that everybody. You see, you know what he does? He heals that all of us are saying that we need green, green car, green vehicles, green energy. What does he do? He, he built it. So, so that's what I'm trying to tell Michael. Right there, Michael said something that's very interesting. It is true. So those green energy company are building solar panels or wind panel why are you thinking they're building it because they see that we are demanding it so the companies that are trying to go and go why are you think they are going because they see that we have like a unstoppable uh, desire to have things it's i don't think it's good i agree i agree with michael in that sense michael is kind of a spiritual leader in a way because he's saying that we shouldn't why, why do we want to hold on on objects but that's our nature. So I think Michael is dealing with a bigger problem. He's trying to take on the corporation, the big international corporation. And look at what he needs to take on is the human soul. The human spirit needs to change. It needs to be renewed and, and revived. So the problem looks like it's a political and economical problem. But I think it's spiritual. I think it's deeper. I think it's that deep down into the human psyche. We are lost. And I, I can say that even about myself. I'm a little bit lost. And sometimes I do look at materialism a lot, but materialist uh, objects. Because the reason why is because we are so connected with this, this dimension of objects. And everything is about objects. And we even objectify the opposite sex sometimes. That's so much of an objects oriented being that we become. We, ad we objectify another human being. That is crazy so um so everything is objects and we like objects i like objects i like houses i like planes i like you know but i think we need to slow down on that because all those objects we are trying to dig it under the ground the resources and in order to dig we use fuel and all that aggression of building and building it's it's non-stop um uh and also the world is getting over it's getting populated a lot it's, it's growing so which means there's more people that's going to need more stuff and it's going to be less place of green but so it's a very complex issue i think michael needs a, a bigger discussion i think he, he has a lot of great points. there's no denying that capitalism it's not a good thing when you want to talk about you want to save the planet capitalism is about you want to save your pocket you know so but me i feel like i don't need to destroy capitalism I actually don't think I need capitalism to not be close to the global warming and the green energy. I don't believe in that because I do believe that capitalism is a very aggressive engine. It's like it's like a it's like a sword. You can use the sword for good thing or you can use it for bad thing. That's what I look at capitalism. That's the difference between my and my common. I don't see it as something totally negative. We need the power of the government to take a company like Amazon and to have them totally radicalize radically change the the way this country works when it comes to fuel we can everything um so that's it guys have a good day uh take care